Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is Secret of Bana. And um, we are having some technical problems tonight, so uh, bear with me. I hope the video turns out to be okay, but let's just play. I think there's a big League of, League of Legends stream going on, messing up Twitch's bandwidth and mine with that. But we'll just try and continue. Um, so let me move down my seat so we can actually play a little bit. Gonna have to touch the mic. Might also be my internet. Um, okay. Uh, and Captain Crowbar, I don't think you want to know. <laughs> I don't think I want to know either. So, yeah. <laughs> People who support me can support all the things as well. I guess. <sighs> but yeah. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Let me keep it that way. Um, yeah, we did a little bit start, uh, a bit of a start earlier. Um, let's go back a tad. So you guys can see Pure Land from the beginning. I hope just the video is reasonable. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, here we are. We're at the Pure Land. This is late in the game, we've gone to all the eight palaces. Shit happened though, the Mana Fortress has risen, uh, which is a bad thing. And we need to go here to the Pure Land and find the, the Mana Tree. You know, the one from the cover. And, uh, yeah, use its power to power up our sword. I'm not even using the sword at the moment, but uh, that's fine. And, uh, yeah, here we are in this place. Last time. We got slaughtered by these dudes, but now they, well, they can hardly even touch me. I did a lot of leveling. I did a whole lot of grinding today. Did you see that? Level 71. <laughs> this, uh, hey, come over here. Just, <laughs> these uh, enemies can drop some good items. I actually got some of them already. Uh, let's see what's in here. Chocolate. Oh, we have enough chocolate. The stove is also level 71. Everyone's on the... Cusp of level 70 and level 71. Uh, yeah, there, everyone is level 71. <laughs> and there we go. It's Secret of Mana and Oral Experience. Uh, with movement going on, I bet the stream is terrible to see as well. But you guys can hear me, right? Oh man. Really sucks that Twitch is having problems tonight. I want to I want to finish this. And uh, yeah, also export this to the YouTubes. And I'm afraid I'm exper yeah, exporting a terrible video to the YouTubes now. That's not that that much people watch those videos anyway. <laughs> not like uh, there's much comments and stuff on those. Um so yeah, I've been here. I've been grinding, uh, mostly on this screen. This screen, these enemies have a well, ton of HP, but uh, also a ton of XP. Some of the best XP in the game on this, this screen here. And uh, it looks really nice. <laughs> little water going through the place and you going around that. And yeah, these, these griffin hands have lost 3000 XP. There's better XP, but that's in the Mana Fortress. And that's uh, the next dungeon. And yeah, for this dungeon, first we have a whole long way to go. This is one of the longer gun dungeons in the games. There's like um, at least six bosses. I um, also kind of defeated one off camera earlier today. I'm sorry. T it uh, was the snake boss, which is uh, well, right around the corner here. Um, this is a nice little boss arena, and there was a, uh, a recall of the snake boss. And... Well, I killed him. <laughs> I, uh, I was here. So, get something to drink. And uh, I forgot that you, I mean, once you enter the room, you can't get out anymore. So, and I'd done some leveling beforehand, so I just beat it. It was just a recall right away. And, well, with the terrible FPS on Twitch at the moment, I doubt you can see it anyway. Ah... Uh. Uh, but let's move on. So that's supposed only one of like 
six bosses at least here. We need to go on this, this place. Yeah, back when we level, we were level 40-ish, this place was hell. And, uh, especially those things, the needlers or whatever they're called. Uh, they, yeah, they slaughter you. But uh, now, now they can't hurt me at all. Yay. Um, this place is also kind of maze. I think I know most of the directions. Yeah, definitely on the right path. You see one of these gates, you need to go and defeat the dragon to the left of the gate. And then we can save. So, how is the stream for you guys, the video? Uh, it's probably a slideshow. Um, okay, we're bringing a little bit of a colder area here. Oh, yeah, and um, I'm using a spear at the moment. It's called a Dragon Lance because that does extra damage against uh, dragons. And there's three dragon bosses in the game, and they're all in the pure land, so perfect place to use this dragon spear. A neat lion, that's the name of these things. It's not bad for you? Okay. It's okay. Yay. The. Oh, here is that dragon. <laughs> Let me uh, also show you the magic training that I've done, which is a lot. Also, I have 99 MP now. That's the best thing I have is lunar, uh, lunar magics. Uh, actually, that's something the sprite has. Here I have lunar boost, which gives me a uh, boost strength. And here I have uh, the moon energy, which makes sure every attack you do is a crit. And yeah, he has that stuffs. But now, yeah, one hit does 300 damage, especially with this Dragon Slayer also. He seems to be doing massive damage to me, but well, I also have massive numbers of HP now, thanks to my level 70 grinding. Uh, it would be nice if I hit him as well. And... This hitbox is weird with flying enemies like this. Well, let's try and melee him though, he's strong though. Come on! Get over here! Huh. You guys can hurt him like that, huh? I can't hurt him like that. Oh, hitboxes. If only I could hit him, then I would do massive damage. Uh, oh, fuck it then. He's a frost dragon. We have fire spells. The girl has a fire spell. Uh, let's try that. Oh, that's also a droid. Does his attack down and does 500 damage. Uh, the sprite also has fire magic. At level 7. Have I done Metroid on stream yet? Um, well, only maybe like five or six times. Like, I've done uh, randomizer runs recently. <laughs> so, yeah, I've done Metroid on stream. Come on. I, I was hitting him earlier. Ah, there we go. Uh, there's a new version of the starter pack out for Dwarf Fortress fans. Get your latest starter pack. That's with the latest version of the Dwarf Fortress, so go do that. Yeah, that's, those are fun runs, uh, Snorlicus. Those item randomizer runs where you, uh, you have no idea what the items are gonna be. It's, it's yeah. Fun to explore the entire game again. Anyway, we got the defeated the Frost Dragon. And got a Bose Orb. Now when we go back to that little uh, uh, shrine thing we were at, we will be able to continue. That's really close. That's right here. And it's one third of this dungeon done. Uh, this space is going to go fast, but the level is also going to be more complicated. 
And there are some nasty bosses coming up. Bosses coming up, I think. But with my levels, um, yeah, <laughs> I did a bit. Uh, I can actually, I'm kind of over leveled for this place now. Level 60 is what you're supposed to be ish. I'm level 70 now, 71 even. Um, but that's fine because the mana fortress after this, and that's yeah. You kind of want to be around level 70 ish to beat the game. So, we should be on track to beat the game tonight. And that's my plan for tonight. And yeah, these bastards, they drop meat lines. Um, this might be a dead end, or probably not. So, you ghosts, you can't hurt them, fuck them. And, uh, I haven't really talked about it yet, but you'll probably be noticing the music here. I love the music here, it's so, it's, it's serene. It's um, like in yeah, the serene uh, forest in, in in Dwarf Fortress. Uh, in Dwarf Fortress, you see the unicorns uh, bouncing around with sort of music, I guess. <laughs> but here, it's a it's sort of nature zone where just yeah, nature rules here in the pure land. Ah, here, reach the next boss. It's a recall of the spring chicken. Um, this is a hard boss, especially to do melee damage too. Um, let's find out what he's weak to. And maybe he's not a dragon, so I'll switch to the bow for now. Uh, 2800 HP. Will be weak to Undine? Yeah. Can I even hurt him? <laughs> ah. Don't fireball me. Uh, I do like trying to melee these bosses and cheesing them with magic, so let's try this trick at the end. When I heard him. This is really the combination to cheese the game. It's actually how you're supposed to beat the end boss as well. <laughs> Which I never knew, so as a kid I had really problems getting the end boss down. Uh, once you know you can stack these spells and uh, you do like 999 damage if you charge to level 2 or 3 yeah that's how you take down the end boss but we'll get to that when we get to that and that yeah 300 for a normal hit now with the ball is insane we will fucking melee this guy Come on. Let's try to reach out as well. Uh. And there he goes. <laughs> Problems with the uh, door fort? I got another Patreon guy. Thanks, uh, person who headed to the Patreon, Russell. Thank you. Uh, I'll update the counter later because, yeah, I'm sitting at a different place at the moment. Yes, I'm actually playing on the SNES with an actual TV and an Elgato capture card, hence why the uh, footage is a little bit uh, blurry. It's not supposed to be as big as this. <laughs> but yeah, using my actual SNES that I have from ages and ages ago. And uh, yeah, beating this game again. And uh, got that I got to the Duck Star, so still again thanks for that. And yeah, thanks for the Patreon. Uh, now that ghost is untouchable, he can't do anything. Let's uh, use a spell on him. I like leveled most of my spells, let's uh, try a fancy one, like uh, not even gates. Uh, do it on the ghost. And 
you will gate him and let us shit damage. Okay, probably because he is a ghost, he's probably uh, strong to the dark element. Let's try some light element then. Also, I need the axe to continue the sword. Bam, yeah, <laughs> weak to light element. Um, let's go back to the sword to cut some way through here. What I'll do after Secret of Mana? Well, tonight we might play some more SNES games when we finish, if that's in time. Here is uh, the picture of all the SNES cards I have. And uh, it's still hours away, but uh, we'll probably try some other game. To, uh, and maybe go into a little bit of grab back content, but uh, it's more than an hour away from now. Let's uh, yeah, take a look, that's all the, the SNES cards I have from back in the day. And uh, yeah, on the Dwarf Fortress front, which, which you're all waiting for. Uh, so the new starter pack is finally out, that was, I was what I was waiting for. I th it feels like um, the next version of Dwarf Fort will take a while to release. So I'm thinking of starting the uh, the Evitted uh, new tutorial. Oh, and hey, we're at the second boss already. The fourth boss already. It really won't take as long as I thought. Uh, let's try one more time with the little unit boost trick. And uh, yeah, it's hard to see all those cards, but zoom in, look a little bit at them. And if you can't read them, ask me. Um, but yeah, Yoshi's Island 2 is in there. Uh, world, of course, Mana, Evermore, is the quest. Uh, let's see, Act Racer, um, tons more crappy ones like Tom Jerry. <laughs> um, I'm forgetting lots more. It's hard to do <laughs> out of the top of my head. Nice little sprite bitch, he's at the bottom of the screen, but he shows us his show at the top of the screen. Okay, come here, you. Fuck. Um. Come here. <laughs> Same bottom stop screen thing. Again. Hmm. Hey, nice. So, if I. Hit him in the like torso area, even though I'm not in the torso. Fire again. Um, probably still better off going on back to the hole. So could you stop putting me on fire, please? Yeah. Okay. Um. I'll go back to the bow again, even though it's not a dragon bow. Heal me again. Hmm. I think you'd force the game to hit it with the bow like this. But no. Whatever. Go away. Let's try to charge them if you're not here. Get level 7 charge. The whip actually has level 8 charge already. Uh, I'll show that off. And this charge attack, is, of course, is going to fail, because they always do. Uh, and of course, my magic fades in time. Okay, stop. Um, get over here. Hey, I hit him! Nice! It's a 999 damage. Okay. That was good enough. Uh, let's uh, finish him off. Fire Dragons, of course, are weak to you. Ice damage. And he can't have more than like 3000 HP, so this will probably kill him. Yeah! Um, we don't even get to see the explosion because it was off screen. 
But uh, he's dead. I have not seen that Captain Crowbar. Uh, maybe I should. <laughs> I don't know anything about speedrunning this game, just what I know from back in the day. Got my blood absorb. And we've reached level 72. I'll just stick with the bow, I guess. It's definitely better for these uh, tall enemies. Actually, next boss is um, going to be a ground thing, although it's also annoying. It's going to be a uh, recall of the Gigas. We fought like two times already. Uh, more ghosts around. Man. When I was small, this area, this was so tough and I was so under leveled and didn't really bother leveling that much. I used to uh, like use barrels to get through these areas. It's like a, a power up. Uh, let me show it. It's ridiculous. Um, it's invincible. You have a barrel. Put it on yourself. Now, now I'm wearing a barrel and I can't get hurt. <laughs> And you can't attack either. Or, well, if you do attack, you lose the barrel. And, yeah. The old power up thing, and that's how I got through most of these areas. If the enemies were really too hard. And close to somewhere. But, yeah, what you're supposed to do here is just grind. The game really expects you to grind on these, these enemies around here. Um, oh, this is my path. Ah, we sort of continue. Sometimes you can get around these things. Not today. Now, what, what time did the uh, Secret of Mana speedrun has? How, how how fast can you finish this game? There's, there are some things you could skip, I think, like the fire land, for some reason. I think I've read something about that somewhere. <laughs> you die now. Um, this is a way down here. Oh no, this just looks like an entrance, it just isn't. <gasps> More to make the man fuck him. Crossroads here. Hmm. I'm sure you need to go up, but what happens if you go down? Probably doesn't work. Die. Uh, yeah, I can't go down. Uh, looks like you can go up. Yeah. Now we're here. Oh, and we're already at the boss. Here's the Thunder Gigas. Um, <laughs> let's do the same trick again. Um, Oh yeah, also, we have a skill, we do actually have a skill named Blue Arrow Magic, so... We can actually make some Super Mario World levels. But that's kinda terrible. <laughs> um, well, let's just do the trick again, though. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, spear is way more damage. Uh oh, he silenced me. Well, I'll just have to deal with that. Yeah, I'm confused. The D pads turned around. Okay, stopping. Oh, that was a miss. Fuck you. And he confuses you. Then. How is that a miss? again. 2 hours 13 minutes, god damn. <laughs> He's playing for way longer than that. Ah, there we go, 9-9 nine, nine damage. 9-9-9. Nine, nine, nine. I'm like, I'm in game. <laughs> That's the max damage you can do with any attack in the game. That's why I actually sh probably shouldn't be charging to level 8. But hey, I can. Probably a level 3 charge is enough to do that sort of damage. 
Also, those Thunderbolts, if I wasn't level 70, they would do like 300 damage. But yeah, Lunar Boost uh, and those two Lunar Magic the Girls has, they break the game. <laughs> and I'm betting the speedrun uses that technique as well. Yeah. You know, the shorter this dungeon has to be shorter than I expected, just, it's just a whole lot of bosses. The areas between there aren't as large as I remember at all. And this was the fifth boss, and there's only one boss left. And surprise, it's going to be another dragon. <laughs> Way to go! And a Swords Orb. That's what we need to get the final level sword. Um, let's go back to the bow because it will be a dragon again. Yeah, how the hell do you play this in 2 hours 30 minutes? I should take a look at the run and yeah, see what kind of skips they do. Must be some massive skips in there. Probably lots of uh, magic abuse. Because magic is really abusable. Although, you don't have the time to train for magic abuse in a uh, speedrun. There's lots of uh, grinding you need to do for that. Let's see, um, does the game have a counter here how much long we've been playing? No. No. There's the counter on the right, which is the number of saves, but that counter went up to 99 and went, then went back to the 1. So, yeah. T that's not really helpful. Uh, more bushes to cut with the sword. Hi then. And here we are, final dragon. Uh, I want to try one more time. Moon energy. And. Why am I not hurting you? The NPCs aren't helping much either. But, uh, especially since she's standing there and it's too much. At least we. Hmm. They seem to aim at like ah that level. Okay, get over here. Get over here. I'm going to try and hit you with this. How did none of that hit? Ah, uh, give up. Okay, um, this what element is this guy? Probably thunder, like the thunder guy earlier. Now, gnome is the one thing I didn't max out to level seven, but level four will probably still do. Uh, that's three hundred damage. I need to hit the head. I need to hit the head. That's it. Just aim for that. Stand still. <laughs> Let's hit the again. 
Oh, I was at the right location, but I didn't use the spell. Magical me. Looks like the OBS bar is back in the green, or well, flickering between green and orange. Oh. So I'm guessing the video should be better by now. Screen again? Not yet. That is in the direction of his head, but walls and stuff are not helping. And he's dead. Okay, uh, yeah, we're done with the pure land a whole lot faster than I imagined. I was expecting like this was going to take an hour or something. But yeah, over leveling. Over leveling. That uh, <coughs> fixes the place. Okay, well, you guys ready for some plot? It's time for some plot. Uh, get away, I plant down. Alright, here we need sword again. Do you need to get back to this little shrine? And OBS is fluctuating again. Let's save our game, yeah, because there's a whole lot of plot ahead. It's the intro music. And yeah, where are we? Still moving around. Actual, an actual cutscene. <laughs> well, that game has had those. Tons of them. The mana tree. Ah. Oh. And they timed it here. That, and there you see the mana tree. It's uh, a great moment. <laughs> well, you're still pretty far away from what you can see here. That tree is really big. And if you're on a little cliff here, uh, yeah. That's a also, couldn't we have seen that tree from the sky like well, when we were riding Flammy? <laughs> can we really hear a Lombo? Ah, uh, this music is so fucking good. And Zisto. <laughs> because he gave us a raid uh, when we were naming him. Uh, yeah, named the girl after Irma. <laughs> we did that in the first uh, Som stream. He never gave up hope. Yep. And we can beat the fortress. Well, just one more little thing we have to do, but... <laughs> no, no! The Mana Fortress is here. With their giant orbital laser! Tuh. And the boss death sound. Tuh.
And, uh, yeah. We're too late. The Mammoth Tree is being destroyed by fucking orbital lasers. What? Wake, wake up, Rambo. Yeah, that's what's left of the mana tree. That evil Thanatos. It is I, the mana tree. <laughs> yeah. The fort runs on mana basically and sucks up all the mana and that's bad. Basically the plot of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> well the beginning at least with the, the spirits stuff and well with actually the overall plot. But it's different. And pre Final Fantasy VII as well. Yeah. Mana Beast, when it goes Wild, it goes wild. Apparently it's bad if it actually attacks the fortress. We're gonna need <laughs> the mana sword to do that. Yeah. And yeah, our father was wounded by the Emperor 15 years ago. They were talking about him in Tasmika. And uh, he died somewhere, yeah, near Podos. Uh, yeah. Ramo never figured it out. The ghost we saw in the beginning of the game was his dad. <laughs> and uh plot twist. The mana tree. A tree is our mother. Rambo's mother is a tree. Yeah. And that's another mana thing. Uh, people can become the tree. That We'll learn that in the first game. The mana tribe. The woman become the tree. And, uh, yeah. The men wield the sword. And, uh... Luckily, Mom here can uh, power up our sword. Yay! Hmm. I have not done Final Fantasy VII on stream. There's enough Final Fantasy VII Let's Plays around that I feel like doing that. I'd rather play Final Fantasy VI then, that's the better uh, Final Fantasy, if you ask me. Or 9, or. Even five or four. None of the others. The others don't exist. Especially eight doesn't exist. <laughs> and anything past uh, past nine is just shit. But uh, that was mother the the mana tree. No. Oh. Just met his mother, who was a tree, and uh, mom died. This is nuts. <laughs> yeah, slap him, sure. <laughs> and we're all orphans now. Yay! Will he though? Well, it's a SNES game. He will. <laughs> it's just like, like there's... That's all the... Like, character development Ramos ever gonna get in the game. <laughs> he just had that. He, he really had no character from like the beginning of the game. But yeah. Yeah, it happened. 
Anyway, uh, now we're here. We have the mana tree. Can't do much here though. Just actually, the only thing you can really do is flummy me out. So uh, let's do that. Uh, wrong way around the, the ring menu, as always. I haven't played any of the Persona games myself, uh, Mask Traveler. So, yeah. Don't know much about those. Yeah. I'm not that big into our JRPGs anymore to do, uh, start a whole series like that. I've heard good things about Persona 3 and 4. Um, now though, before we go to the mana fort, I really should grind just a teensy wings a little bit. Uh, at least my healing magic. Uh, in Dwarf Fort, yeah, the creep but with all you can still do that. You can have an entire mountain leaning on a single column, which is on a, in a, uh, at, over a bend or whatever. One tile, and it will be supported. And uh, so don't stab the old man. I want to talk to him. Come on, T bye. Okay, T thank you, Grandpa. Let's save. Now I need to do a little bit of boring grinding. Um, I'll, I won't do everything, I'll just grind up the uh, healing magic because that's just fucking important. And uh, we're here, it just shouldn't even take that long. So, yeah. Uh, Next up after this is the final dungeon. Oh, also we uh, have a ton of those swords and orbs. We should upgrade our swords uh, and weapons before we go. A layer top of another layer and have the dwarf survive? Yeah. Yeah, it's not advisable dropping one tile. Cool. Fucking last night, they dropped one tile down. One tile down, they died. Meh. Challenging problems. <laughs> um, so, any other questions while I uh, do some boring ma magic grinding here? No. Oh. Maybe I should link the picture again with all the games I have. After the Mana Fort we'll probably do something else. Some more SNES grab bag. And yeah, what games would you like which games would you like to see me play? Uh let's control V the little image again, it's a terrible quality, but I'm not the photo bands. <laughs> So, yeah, after I finish this, uh, we'll play some uh, one of those games. Which one should we play? I have played basically all the mana games. Mass Traveler, uh, played Secret of Mana 2, or Psych in the Setsu 3 even. Played Legend of Mana, played... Um, Children of Mana, I've played Heroes of Mana, I've played Psych and Decetsu 4 slash Dawn of Mana and Final Fantasy Adventure slash Psych and Decetsu 1 slash Final Fantasy uh, Mystic Quest Game Boy. <laughs> I'm a mana buff. A big mana fan even. And... Oh, yes, yeah, I'm this fun. Jurassic Park is on the Super Nintendo is weird. It's part top down um, shooter shooter like this, part Doom ish FPS. It's uh, quite the, the thing. 
Now let's stay with SNES tonight because I have the setup and it's hard to do the setup. <laughs> Another night we'll play more C and more thing. More, more Metroid seeds. Thing is, another Metroid run is probably going to be three, four hours. Well, uh, uh, yeah, the Jurassic Park game isn't all that good. Hmm. And Metroid seeds I can't play on my SNES here, so yeah, uh, could play me playing normal Super Metroid. <laughs> Let me see what that's that. I've not played that myself, but I've seen enough Medibot streams of what you love to uh, get the crowbar. <laughs> yeah, good movie game. <laughs> That's also a very weird thing. Yeah, I'm at level 8 yet. No? Let's check how the lab is doing. 774. Yeah, no to love too, it's red. Um, a good platformer. Slash weird mouse, each thing, it's different. <laughs> It's good for speedrunning, uh, that game. I haven't played it because I just, like, tend to go for the more uh, Metroidvania game where I can explore better. Is that one game which I just finish over and over to speedrun? Same reason I haven't really, like, played Volgar yet, uh, for example. I, I got really far as a kid as well in, in that game, but didn't have a save chip uh, Jurassic Park. So, that was shit. And, yeah, there's some, some really nasty things like find all the eggs and they're hidden fucking everywhere. And the shooting can be really hard. Hey, magic skill up. Talk to the grandpa? Yes. Okay. Let's uh, forge up our weapons and I think we'll be able to go towards the end, end dungeon. That is a longer dungeon though. Oh, well, I remember the, the pure land being longer then. I'm pretty sure the, the mana fortress has some really big maps. We need to walk through. Um, let's see, there's Matango over here. Oh yeah, we also, I also off screen, we missed a little cutscene. Uh, when you land here for the first time after you get Flummy, King Truffle is here and he says like, he tells you the controls of Flummy and how you do that. It's really minor cutscene. Okay, we have all the fucking money in the world. Let's uh, upgrade our stuff. Uh, let's not upgrade the elf harpoon because that is a harpoon which gives extra paint, which ups your magic damage, which is great for the for the sprite. Um. Let's save once more and yeah, we'll go to the Mana Palace, the Mana Fortress. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen the ending of this part myself. This part the SNES uh, game. <laughs> Video of mine had like the Jurassic Park for the Genesis, and that's such a better game, even though it's still not that good of a game. It's a much, much better game. <laughs> but the SNES Jurassic Park tried it, at least. 
Okay. Here we go, our final flummy ride. And there is the mana fortress. Uh, you have to fly towards it. Slowly. At some points uh, at high altitude as well. Yeah. The flummy starts going towards the top of the screen. And he flies there. <laughs> That's it. So mode 7 and then you can visit you finished. <laughs> Nasty. Okay, we couldn't enter here before. Now we can. And hey, there's Captain Ducks. Let's not kill them. Uh, let's, uh, we can target them. To show you again that these are the Captain Ducks. Where I got my name from. Uh, yep, that's from this little enemy right here. <laughs> Well, we've seen him before in the previous screen. Don't kill him! No! You bastards, that's me. <laughs> this is a no Captain Duck kill percent run. I do, don't, I don't care about kimono wizards though. And, uh, yeah, here we go. That's the outside and into the mana fortress. Um, now this place is special. Um, well, at least the enemies are. It's yeah, the final dungeon. And actually these enemies, like some certain enemies can drop uh, orbs for your weapons. So if you really want to max out everything, then uh, yeah, you can do that. Uh, I need to go here. By grinding a lot of these enemies. But our weapons are good enough. So yeah, we're not going to do that. Also, these Ember Men here, or uh, Tsunamis even, these dudes are the best experience in the game. Well, not the technically the best, but they can split up, and they're like 3,000 uh, uh, 3,500 XP at pop. So if you just keep one alive, you can just keep farming them forever. But since we're... Ooh! Lucky! That's a better um, equipment item. They don't drop that very often. I also have found some, some helmets earlier which are better than the which I bought. And the same with uh, these dragon rings which I found which are pretty good. Amulet ring, even better though. I'm gonna give it to the sprite because he's the weakest. Also, music here, pretty awesome. <laughs> I, know, I know for sure these orbs like drop one of the... Uh, these heads drop one of the orbs that I could use for my weapons. But, uh, it's so weird to see a head walk like that and spinning like that. But it's a, a classic mana enemy from the first game. So, yeah, they have to be in the game. With demonic heads. Fuck these dogs, they spawn other dogs. These werewolf lords here, or whatever they're called. They're, they can be tough, but uh, not with my stats. <laughs> Level 73. We'll make some kills on the way there. And probably be level 75 before we hit the ending. Uh, little things you need to destroy. Let's be grow after you press buttons. Idiots are stuck there, and I'm in stun lock. Come on. Oh, fuck. Move. I can switch to another character, so I can actually heal my stun lock guy. No, now he's out of stun lock, of course. Get back to him. <laughs> Still doing a lot of damage, these bastards. Wow! They're <laughs> really slaughtering me! Again, select... Um... They are... Um, probably weak to fire? Ah! 
he should have been dead there, but because I was already healing him, that saved me. Ah, <laughs> uh, go to the boy now, and get out of there. Yay! We made it. Get over here, buddies. So yeah, even uh, though I'm kind of over leveled, these enemies can still do a lot of damage. And apparently, and stun lock you if you're in a bad fucking situation. Okay, I got out though. Uh, some of the best music in the game is still uh, uh, coming soon. Like one of the bosses in this uh, area has a very special boss team, which is amazing. I should really just keep playing as the girl because it's all these whip posts over here. Oh yeah. And yeah, those <laughs> that turtle turned into a race into a race car. Isn't that fucking amazing? I think I actually There's two ways to go in here. Let's try this path first. Remember maybe being the button here or that's needed on that other path. And I'll just stick with the girl for now. Hmm. Where is this continuing? This is continuing. So where did that sub path go then? Uh, we'll go back for a second. I think the books can also drop one of the orbs. Ah, uh, fuck it. We'll do a barrier. Okay, so where does this go? Huh? So remember going past here lots of lots of times. Um That's why I hate those dogs. I hate those dogs because they put you on fire, and that just takes a long time. Uh, ah, yeah. So I did need to take the lower, the other path. Okay. Yeah, keep heal eating yourself. Uh, they're going to have to. AI is going to have problems going out of the corner when the other wolf is still there. Get over here. Oh. Now he's on fire. So the whip is still one of the best weapons in the game. Ooh, just. Yeah. It's a, me a melee weapon basically and it's got giant range. Come on, guy, yeah, that way. And give me the chest. Well jam, well, maxed out on that. Hey uh kill man? I love those race car turtles. The sound they make as well is amazing. <laughs> These orbs also have uh, a can drop an orb. Um, like basically all the enemies here can. I don't think this the sword can. Pretty sure the book here can. But like each enemy has their own orb, like I think the the werewolf lords we saw earlier, and that can drop the glove orb. And um, the book is like the bow orb, maybe. 
But you have to farm so much to get those items. Like, kill at least a hundred of them. Because they each enemy has like two things they can drop. A, uh, a higher, uh, a low tier drop thing and a high tier drop thing. And the chance to get the higher thing is terrible. Also, I remember the switch in the middle here. That just resets all the crystals here. So you're better off not hitting the, the switch in the middle at all. This will be easier to continue. Yeah, that's just a full fake out switch. This one isn't though. Oh, Captain Duck! Uh, not going to hurt him. Well, not going to kill him. No, not going to kill him. No. Oh. <laughs> boss time? No, but after I press the switch, then it's boss time. It is the Vampire Mark II. Uh, this one is also another one of those flying bosses. It's called Buffy. <laughs> vampire called Buffy, that's, uh, that is nice. Uh, yeah, a vampire is weak to lightning magic. Also, this black void here is not all that scary. But, uh, yeah, let's do some light beams on him. <laughs> Can't have much HP left now. Oh. Conscious. Um, better heal. Let's see, uh, Buffy the Vampire. Something went ra wrong there, Buffy. Um, let's see, let's... Let's boost myself, fuck it. Get some melee hits in. Attack up. Evade down, but fuck that. And do the unit boost as well. Then do a little charge. Not like hurting when he's flying like that. Fuck it. <laughs> this spell to get rid of buffs, but not on me, so it's okay. Using ice spells. Let's do a level 8 charge. Yeah. Bam! Oh! It still hit him! Haha, <laughs> nice! 999 damage with the melee weapon with the whip. That's what I like to see. Don't eat me. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> I think that's one of like five or six, five or four bosses. Probably about five bosses in this dungeon. Oh, wolf caps. Uh, if it's only one the elite marks dwarf, well, it's elite marks dwarf. That's a pain. That hurts. If it's only one dwarf and a dog, then it's that's a fine siege. Okay, all me to show. This is like a uh, big area map two out of three. And after each map like that, we'll get boss. I don't really remember the path anymore. But uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, these shape shifters were really scary earlier, but now they are not. Oh, 
magic fade. Uh, they cost Lucid Barrier though, which is such a pain to deal with. Makes the magic immune. Look um, to the scrawler things, we all saw them earlier in the Great Palace. Oh. Seven and two babies died. Yeah, that's a different uh, story. That's a terrible siege then. Here's Slime Central. Bye. Kill the tsunamis. I'm trying to get some more kills on the way to like, max out the sword as well and maybe get even more levels. And maybe get one of those orbs, although I'm not going back to forge those orbs, so no real use there. Well, it's like, nice to try. Ninja gloves! Oh! That's probably a good thing. Well, no. Dark stalkers are lower level enemies. That's probably crap. Um. Yeah, it is better than, like, the gauntlet which I bought in this, from Neko. But the dragon rings I found at the Pure Land are better than that. I don't think there's like any special effects to the, these items. It's uh, yeah, the game didn't have much of that. Well, uh, some weapons have it, but uh, not like this. Keeps puking me and poisoning me. Um. So, yeah. This was all just a uh, waste of time. This place is a maze. Well, that's fine. Especially kill those world wards. Bad. 74. Fuck. Fuck that one head. Let's S pass here. Uh, come on, AI. AI. Hmm. This might be the right path here. I remember it. Come here, Sprite. Come here. There we go. Hey, uh, Smithy. Hey, here's the one Basilisk in the fortress. Uh, he especially has some special drops. And there's like a lot more of them in the Great Palace than the uh, last stream. Kill the racing turtle. Yeah, this is the right way. This goes to the next boss. I think the slime? Yeah. 
This is the slime which becomes bigger, I think. Uh, also, with the still way weird hitbox. Uh, <laughs> that was getting whacked. I mean, you might need magic for him or something. Let's try, maybe. On the whip myself with the spear, with the whip. Probably more hit rate with the whip as well, so. Let's see what the normal hit does now. 200 internal damage, yeah. <laughs> and that was a normal 100% hit. I remember dying on this boss uh, when I was younger. Looks like the wax is, this is over. So I'm going to need a toilet break soon. Damn. Usually have that stuff before stream, but duty calls. Oh, finish this boss now. Great damage on him. Well, the partners can't even hurt him. Right? Yeah, the problem is also he's getting bigger and bigger. That really fucks up the AI. You know what? To speed things up, let's do cast a little bit of magic. Um, let's find out what he's weak to. Well, he's half dead. Shade! Oh, well, I got Shade. Actually, sh leveled that as well, even though it's one of the most useless spells. Evil Gate is motherfucking ass. It's level 7. It's an Evil Gate spell doing one damage. <laughs> Looks like my spells are warm. Okay then, evil force. That does damage. Like four more costs of that, and uh, he's dead. Oh yeah, really goes bad. You know what? Beauty kills really bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. You know what? I'll leave you guys with the awesome boss music. This might take a while. Number two, as you can understand. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll leave you guys with the awesome boss music. And I'll be back.
Okay, I am back. God damn it. That's a uh, open mic. What a whole ordeal. But the less I tell you, the better, I think. Oh, there might be more in the way, though. Uh, fuck. Uh, sorry, guys, for that. That took way too long. Maybe should have turned off the stream. Let's <laughs> speed up a little bit. Oh god. Yeah. Shit is going down. Uh. <laughs> oh. That's fine. At least it's something for the people on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, the poor sods. Uh, God damn, that's... Of course, middle of night when I start streaming, then... Yeah, after that, then my body suddenly decides. Hey, you know what? Those bowels, they, those could be empty right now. And it has to happen right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the boss music for a long, long time. <laughs> Uh, aren't you dead yet? <laughs> Can't have much HP now. He's filling the screen now. That's it. Yeah, it was intense. God damn. <laughs> uh, there might be more in the way as well. My feelings for things. So, we might have another break later, but uh, hopefully, maybe we can do that in the pause after after this or something, I don't know. Uh, okay, so where were we? <laughs> Just beat the second boss of the Mana Fortress. This is the, um, the last big area map. And then it's uh, time for more bosses. Here's a... Uh, an enemy which is only on this map in the game, which also has some good orbs. So, uh, well, actually multiple enemies like that. Ninja is one of those orb dropping enemies. Let's kill one at least. And yeah, that's the third uh, sprite swap of the ninja as we've seen. And here's the second sprite swap. <laughs> Got love here ninjas of course as Japan. Yeah, fuck that little Dig yourself in a hole and move and move. Yeah, and he petrifies, yeah. Eh, let's heal the dude. Or uh, Rambo, even. <laughs> well, bye, kill man. <laughs> Some even better boss music coming up, though. But uh, we're not there yet. That enemy, the sprites of the soldier, which uh, they have Lumina Wall, Lucid Barrier, so they're hard to deal with with melee. Because, yeah, uh, they have the barrier. Hopefully, this kills the barrier. No. One of these days, I should kill his barrier, but. There you go. Finding a cold rat. He probably will recast this barrier, or maybe it just has such so much defense that he can only get hit when well, being whacked. Okay, he, di he died, and yeah, he's called a Terminator. So that's pretty awesome. And he dropped something. That could be an orb. Fucking sword. Doom trap? No, of course. Uh, yeah, that brings you just to 1 HP. That, that's why we leveled the uh, Undine up to this high level. So we can just 
heal ourselves all we want. Oh, come on. Yeah. Beating Bincy was of, uh, abusing his invincibility frames. Casting magic, it's the same thing I can do. Same thing I'm actually going to have to do for the end boss. Because he has some nasty attacks. Uh, so we need to go up there. And yeah, that demon head actually poops out ninjas. <laughs> Spawns them even. No, no, Irma's poisoned. Again. Well, we can also go back to the sword. Or the... Yeah, <laughs> Rambo even. That was his name. And we could use healing again. These dudes are the old dudes from the Empire Fortress. Yeah, they died to it. But they're big pretty determinators here. Let's just magic him this time. He uses light magic, so dark magic probably works on him. Um, doesn't seem like that all that much. Um, how about something else then? Um, some good old freezing. That worked. Uh, yeah, hiccups. Uh, fuck those. Last night I almost had them, but it's deep breaths when you feel them coming. Mm. Come on, Wolf Lord. Hey. Give me an item. Fairy swing. Uh, that's probably even better armor. Let's see. Sprite gets top armor because he's the weakest. Um, fairy swing. 100. Yeah. You're lucky. That's, uh, that's really good. Then let's uh, put the girl. Uh, give her Irma uh, the amulet ring and move on and that uh, was a master ninja Stone Saber is dangerous though because of the petrification, but stun blocking enemies is still uh, really possible. <laughs> and, uh, getting closer to the end here. Or the next boss even. Oh, don't get stuck in that little corner. Doom sword. Hmm. Also, by the way, these night dudes have the best XP in the game. And well, we don't need that. Just let's just just go. 
Neither build pain to deal with, it's just easier to leave him there. Come on. Gonna hurt the AI. We're really close now. Some tsunamis. Oh, wow, nice. Got what? And him as well. I don't think I've still got uh, that spell cast on me, right? Quite some HP these enemies as well. These uh, ninjas are not really that big in HP in comparison. Uh, fairy cloak. Okay, I think that's an armor. I'm so lucky today with these armor drops. Uh, yeah, that's 10 increase. Nice. I don't think the boy can wear that as well. That seems like a uh, sprite only item. Um, oh. Now we go to the right. And this is the spot you should be grinding at. Although, behind, beyond that door might be the next boss and the uh, end game. I think you might be able to drive there. Uh, fuck this place. And you want a transition to another place somewhere. Yeah, here we go. That's the end of the final uh, field map. And remember this place? This is where we fought um, the Mech Rider for the final time. Now we're going on. Um, let's make sure... We are at max with uh, HP at least. Mm, you could choose some more MP, but we do that during the fight. Yeah, I think it's time for the fucking best music, boss music in the game. Yep. Ah, here we go. We finally meet Thanatos and the uh, Dilex also here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Thanatos here is trying to uh, take over his body. And he was waiting for us just to, to tell us that, the bastard. And of course we do nothing. Yeah. Resist him. <laughs> Cuck. <laughs> Cuck indeed. <laughs> Tak without C in there, that's like Dutch for shit. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, so we did attack him, good. Yeah, in a cutscene even. My. So yeah, we prevented him from uh, getting into dialogue. Or. Did we? <laughs> oh no, he's in there! And, uh, can't just steal someone's body. It's a plot point that Xeno uh, uses, the stealing bodies. But, uh... Dalek here... He's resisting, at least. Each a soul sorcery who sold his heart to the underworld. He doesn't have a body. Yeah, basically a sorcerer demon from hell. Well, a sorcerer from back in the day. <laughs> Take care of your man. Here we go. This is the final boss music in the game. The best boss music. And yeah, he was about to be born. Didn't work. Now he's trying to steal our bodies. And here we go. Let me shut up. I don't think we need her. Yeah. 
Nah. And one second. Oh yeah, you also phases. Can you even hurt him? I don't think you can hurt him in this phase. Uh, I heard him <laughs> for 9999 damage. Mm. Maybe don't stab me the hands. Don't my eye. <laughs> Back. Nine, nine, nine damage. No, no, don't stand near the hand. <laughs> Little head poking out there. Nine damage, but it's not even a high level charge. Man, normally what I did when I was young, I, I just cast Mina on him because he's weak to Mina. But uh, I can actually melee him. Uh, how the hell did they do music like this on a Super Nintendo? This is actually a Super Nintendo playing this music. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Shame it's only used for this boss fight. There we go. Seven, six, seven. the loop isn't that big. Hey, don't turn the ball at me. Okay, I still have the charge. Yes. Okay, do your thing. <laughs> Don't have much HP left now. There we go. And yeah, that was the best mu boss music uh, in the game. Even better than normal boss music. Yeah. I love the composer who did uh, this. This game, I think that's a she as well. She has some very good songs as well and other stuff as well. Uh, I did some music for Xenos uh, as well, and even Sword Art Online uses some music by the same uh, same composer. If if I got my Japanese props right here. Anyway, Thanatos dead, and yeah, that's the big bad defeated. But that wasn't the end boss. Actually, he's actually usually pretty hard, but yeah, level 75 just jumps him, <laughs> and knowing that you can stack those two lunar. Make with techniques. Anyway, and the big bad is dead, but um, we were talking about the mana beast earlier. And the mana beast is here. Things are going wrong with mana. Sprite's actually made from mana, so I kind of linked to that. <laughs> is it a Flummy? No. Flummy is like a miniature version of the no, mana beast.
And for some reason he doesn't want to hurt the mana beast. Yeah, the thing is working on the right thing and yep. This stone might disappear if all the mana in the world gets used up. He's a sprite. <laughs> nope. Yeah. And so even at the risk of your own life we have to defeat the mana beast. Of course. And here's the final boss music. And the final boss. Yeah, I got the sword. And I need to do something special, yeah. Alright. They will cast minor magic. Now, this is a little thing that I did not get when I was young. When you're in this battle, you suddenly get the mana magic. And that's supposed to power up the sword. It does. The trick is, you have to cast it uh, at the same time. It's a single spell, both the, uh, the sprite and the girl have it. It only works if you're casting it at, at the same time. Like this. That uh, greatly enhances your attack power. <laughs> and it gives a special animation as well. And in comes the end boss. <laughs> uh, still, yeah, the girl needs to uh, buff the hell out of the boy now. Uh, yeah, there's the mana beast. We're going to have some mode 7 battles here. Going to attack now. Oh, I'll charge up. The this is damage. Eh, not even that much. Take the attack again. Just gonna take the damage. Can't hurt him here. As long as I keep my yeah thing up. Think about nowish. Yes. That's one hit in. Uh, he also casts anti magic shit. And only, only the mana sword can hurt him. And that was another 189. Oh, I only need level 2 to do max damage. <laughs> I'm speedrunning him. He has 10,000 HP, by the way. Okay, now I really need to heal up. And no bother charging since level 2 charges enough to do max damage. Uh, he's going to attack again. Oh, actually, he had better time. If I let's cast something else, um, something like Defender, sure. If I cast it now while he is starting to attack, then I actually don't take any damage at all. <laughs> That's how you deal with the mana beast attacks. You don't need to take any damage if you just abuse your magic. Uh, oh, time for another buff. Um, and yeah, now, what is that a good buff? Doesn't need to do much. 
Oh well, cast Moon Energy on everyone. No, doesn't work. Um, this on everyone? And here he comes again. I think we should be able to kill him on this run. Yep, that's one more hit. We have like... Uh, six of these hits already. How about a level 1 hit? Uh, didn't see how much damage that did. Not enough. Okay, I do need level 2 charge and I probably need to cast my whacking spell again. Yeah. And he cast powerful light magics. Okay, wasn't able to kill him now. Um, that shit. And yeah, unfortunately you kinda don't need a sprite at all during this fight. Just, yeah, this mana sword is the only thing that can like, properly hurt him. Which is kind of a weird decision for a, a co-op game like this. But, yeah, to deal with damage, uh, it's away. Hey, aren't you? Oh, yeah, second attack. Shouldn't, really shouldn't have charged. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's negligible, negligible damage. Uh, probably okay now. There we go, 99. Take a couple more hits left. Don't fire on me, you bastard. There we go. And time! He it stopped at such a moment that the text box was really fucked up. <laughs> Never seen this. <laughs> and that at this point at least. We finished Secret of Mana. Ah. Now it's time for the ending, yeah. Ah. Yeah. So um Here's that picture again of the cards, which I have. What should we play after this? It's uh, only 4 a.m. So we can still, still, still do some more stuff. Some people were talking about Yoshi's Island earlier. Uh, probably do that. And yeah, Zisto is gone. The mana disappeared. And so did Zisto. Also, apparently this world has two moons. That will never forget you. I can't press buttons to speed this up. This is all automatic. So I just put down the controller. Uh, yeah, two moons. Is, and is that the mirror on the right? It's like a satellite? <laughs> or a satellite even? <laughs> and the mana beast turned into snow. Uh, yeah, that's it. The credits. Silvera? <laughs> Probably translation producer or something. I thought it was a Woolsey translation. Anyway, uh, yeah, looking through the world, this is uh, North Town. With all the rebels here. They're still okay. <laughs>